Hi, I'm Leanne Miller, and today in Walnut Creek Cheese Test Kitchen, we are making a simple taco dish. And the reason it's called that is because it's simple, really. You take one tube of cressets. If you're using a small jelly roll pan, this is an 11 by 14, just use one tube. Now, if you're like me at home, I have the big mama, one just like this with a lid. This is a 13 by 18, and I use two tubes of crescents instead of one. Keep that in mind when you're making this recipe. So I'm gonna bake that till golden, just like this beautiful one. We've baked this about 10 minutes on a beautiful dough maker's pan. And then we're gonna take an eight ounce cream cheese. We've let this cream cheese set out on the counter in its wrapper all day. It's nice and soft, so it's gonna be easy to mix. Then we're gonna take a whole sour cream. Yes, I said a whole one, a 16 ounce one, and add it to our cream cheese. Now, a real key, a little tip. You're gonna want to mix this sour cream and cream cheese until it's light and fluffy, just like frosting. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And that's gonna be our first layer on this dish. Right on top of this beautiful crust, we're gonna put an eight ounce cream cheese and a 16 ounce sour cream. So I'm gonna whip it up. So I fried up a beautiful pound and a half of really lean burger, beautiful lean burger. Then I strained all of the excess fluid off of that burger and I'm gonna add a 15 ounce can of beautiful pizza sauce. Add that right into the burger. I know it sounds a little crazy on a taco dish, but it's absolutely delicious. So we put a 15 ounce can of pizza sauce in there. And now we're gonna take a whole pack of taco seasoning mix and put that in there as well. We're just gonna combine this with our spatula. It's a heat resistant spatula. Combine that mixture and that's gonna be the meat topping for our wonderful, simple taco dish. Okay, so we fried our beautiful burger, our pizza sauce, and our taco seasoning. It's ready to go on as our third layer. Then we've taken our sour cream and cream cheese. And actually, I'm, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dump the whole thing on there because we're gonna spread that on here just like frosting. Okay, so I've finished up spreading the sour cream and the cream cheese on top of this beautiful golden crust. Now, scrape down your spatulas. Nobody wants to waste even a spoonful of this delicious stuff. Okay, let's put that on here. And then we're ready for our third layer. Now, our third layer is going to be this beautiful meat mixture. You're gonna wanna let it cool down just a little bit because you really don't want the cheese to totally melt and you don't want the meat to be too hot because if it's too hot, it's gonna get a little gooier than you'd like and a little more liquidy than you'd like. Okay, so we've put our meat layer right on top of that cream cheese and sour cream. And this part is easy peasy. Just shred some lettuce, some nice romaine lettuce. Put that over the top. Now this needs to happen right before you serve it. You really don't want it with the layers of lettuce and tomato setting for too long. Then your layer of tomatoes. Then we're gonna put a layer of delicious cheese. Now you can use mild cheddar or you can use sharp cheddar. If your meat is really cooled down, you can put the cheese right over top of the meat. If the meat is a little bit warm yet, I prefer to put the cheese right on top of the veggies. You can really layer this any way you want. Then right before you serve it, this secret weapon. Just take some mild taco sauce, I like Ortega, and pour that right over the top. Absolutely fabulous. Hey, for an extra little treat, I like to crunch up some Doritos. Just take the bag, crunch them right in the bag, and I like to spread them over the top. This is a really family-friendly dish. You're gonna love it. Hey, for more recipes just like this one, log on to wanercreekcheese.com.